Lesson 3 starts on page 20 and it's about adding and subtracting using a number line. The best way to learn about this lesson is by doing some practice problems and you can see what I have on the board there. Three practice problems and a number line for each one. So why don't you go ahead and pause your CD and make yourself those three practice problems with the number lines that go with them and then we'll start doing the problems. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do in practice problem A, I want you to add 3 plus 1. And I know you know what that is. 3 plus 1 is 4. But I want you to use the number line to do it. And the way you do that is that you look at the first number in that addition problem, 3, and you count over to the 3 starting from 0 and you just go make a little arrow, 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, and so then you've added or you've counted three on the number line. Now you need to add the one to that and so you'd make another arrow from where the three is and so just make a little dash up and then make yourself another little arrow that would just go one segment. Okay, and so you see that you stop at four. You've added three to one and you stop at four. So that's the answer is four. And we can just like put a box around four I guess. So basically when you add or subtract using a number line the digits in the problem that tells you how many spaces to move basically or how long to make your arrow. Let's do a subtraction problem next. Let's do three minus one. Okay so let's make our arrow first arrow starting from 0 and go to 3 and then we make a dash up to draw the next arrow and now we need to subtract 1 so we go to the left 1 and so we would say minus 1 see like negative numbers go to the left positive numbers go to the right 3 minus 1 and so we end up at 2 and I know you know that 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 but we've used a number line to show that. Let's do one more. This time our result will be a negative number. 1 minus 3 is actually negative 2 and that's something you're probably not as familiar with is working with negative numbers. That's where a number line comes in helpful. So let's start with 1. You'd make a little arrow from 0 to 1. Put some dashes in and then draw your next one, negative 3, that means you would go to the left, 1, 2, 3, and stop your arrow right there. And see it ends at negative 2. And so that's our answer there, is negative 2. 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 2. You could have an addition or subtraction problem that you added 3 or 4 or more numbers together. All these we just did just had two numbers that we were adding. But each number is represented by an arrow. Each value or the quantity that's involved is represented by an arrow. Three we move, make an arrow three segments long. And then whatever symbol there is there, if it's minus three, that means we move to the left three. Okay, well that's all for lesson three.